Hi guys, I'm Dr. Mahboob, MD of Thermology from Ames, New Delhi, and uh, I'm here with my continuation series of Take a Sip with Opta Quick. And uh, in this series, I always talk about that this series is very important for the NEET PG, FMG, and Next PG aspirants. Why? Because we discuss the important uh, topics of cornea, uh, I mean, of thermology relevant to the MCQs for the NEET PG, Next PG, and FMG examinations. Okay, so and uh, it's a very short time whenever you go anywhere you just watch a two to three minutes video and you will be able to answer maximum mcqs from that uh, topic so we are here with the our sip 10 that is coronal dystrophy part one where we will discuss the definition and the classification why i have separated this because the definition and the classification a lot of mcq is asked over this two points only rather than discussing the important uh, uh, every uh, dystrophy separately uh, this important thing is that definition and classification is very important i will be i will be having all the sips other sips also about this coronal dystrophies on the different types and individually also but the most important is the definition and the classification so let's start introduction you will have to understand that the word dystrophy means there is a dis means something is wrong and trophy means there is a, obviously trough matlab nourishment something is wrong to the nourishment of the cornea and that leads to the disease that is called a dystrophy this is the dystrophy two words greek words two words okay now when we call it a dystrophy there has to be certain features which is very important for the mcq also so it is usually bilateral it will occur in both eyes at the same time usually and most of the cases Systematic, obviously it is symmetric in both the eyes. Slowly progressive, it is that it does not say that it will appear in one day or in one week or in one month. It's a slowly progressive, it will progress. And not related to the environmental or any systemic factors. There should not be any systemic factor. There should not be any environmental uh, effects of the coronal dystrophy. Then it will not be a coronal dystrophy, right? But there are few exceptions. Obviously biology is a science of exceptions. Medicines is a science of exceptions. So you have the exceptions everywhere. So let's see some exceptions are bilaterality. I have shown, told, told you that the bilaterality, bilateral, it's bilateral. But there's one condition that is called endothelial dystrophy that is PPCD means posterior polymorphous coronal dystrophy. It is a type of endothelial dystrophy, which is usually unilateral. It may be bilateral, but it is usually unilateral. So it is an exception. Second point is that it has, it does not have a systemic or any environmental factor association, right? But there is Snyder coronal dystrophy, uh, SCD means Snyder coronal dystrophy, where we have, it is associated with the hypercholesterolinemia. Means sometime a patient is having a, a uh, hyperlipidemia hypercholesterolemia and the patient is having a degeneration uh, sorry dystrophy then we can expect that this patient is having snyder corneal dystrophy we have seen the patient like this hereditary obviously uh, this should not i uh, mean uh, have the hereditary basis i mean uh, generation to generation has to jump right but EBMD that is the most common one the most common EBMD most common corneal dystrophy and it's a type of epithelial dystrophy most common uh, corneal dystrophy epithelial basement membrane dystrophy in majority of the cases it has it does not have in the have the hereditary bias means they're not having the hereditary uh, things okay but usually the corneal dystrophy has the hereditary thing coming to this slowly progressives I have told you that it progresses slowly but there is one thing that is Fuchs endothelial corneal dystrophy is stage one does not progress it does not progress at all okay and we will discuss that the name of this condition has been changed later on because of this does not progression okay and we will discuss okay moving to this point that is we know that we have something called anatomical uh, classification let's see this uh, earlier on we have classified this coronal dystrophy based on the anatomy like we have epithelial and subepithelial we have the bowman's membrane stromal and descendants membrane let me tell you some examples like ebmd comes to this bowman's may reese buckler and thiel banke stromal there are lots of things like lattice degenerations and uh, granular degenerations uh, 
macular degenerations and uh, sorry dystrophies lattice dystrophy granular dystrophy and macular dystrophy and here decements variant endothelial we have the fecd that is fuchs endothelial corneal dystrophy chd congenital hereditary endothelial dystrophy and uh, ppcd that we have seen now ppcd posterior polymorphous corneal dystrophy so this was the classification earlier used to be but ic3d classification you know this very important ic3d classification that is today in today's world this ic3d classification is being used for the corneal dystrophy it has the basis of genetic clinical pathological and representative clinical features now it is categorized into category 1 2 3 and 4 very simple to remember just see these three points remember these three points and reduce one points in each part we should have in the category one all those corneal dystrophies which has a well-defined dystrophies well-defined gene mapping and well-defined mutation they come in category one obviously and in category two we uh, the dystrophies who has well-defined dystrophies but and specific chromosomal location that is gene mapping but no mutations known it is being uh, under investigation they come under category two similarly remove this that the third one we only well defined dystrophy and the fourth one all those new dystrophy that is about to discover that is being under investigation they come into this so we have to understand that the ic3d classification is a very important classification of corneal dystrophy so this ends the dis definition and the classification of corneal dystrophy hope you like this and do continue watch other sips very fun learning mcq uh, targeted learning so uh, thank you thank you very much